Sunken bases work better than standard flat bases when using green stuff as the recessed area holds the epoxy better. First, you'll want to cover up any gaps in the base. Do this by gluing a strip of paper over any hole or gap found in the base. Apply the green stuff over the base. I use a set of sculpting tools which I really recommend when working with green stuff. However, you can achieve similar results with a concave rounded surface, something like a small spoon will work. Using a tool instead of your finger will ensure a smooth surface. Once you've gotten an even layer, you'll want to carve a texture into the green stuff. In this case, I was going for disjointed cobblestones. I start with a central shape, and from there carve varied shapes around it, and keep branching out until I hit the edge of the base. Again, I would suggest sculpting tools for this, but an X-Acto knife can work as well. After finishing the stonework, I use the dull end of the small drill bit to tap the surface, creating small indents to give it a texture. You can use the dull end of a paper clip to have similar results. As for the tile texture, it's a straightforward grid carved similarly to the cobblestone. You'll want to make sure that the lines are as parallel as possible. After the epoxy is cured, I glued on additional features I made for the bases. Since these bases will have pewter models on them, I decided to drill pins into the base to connect the models to the base, which will make them less likely to break off. Once both the bases and models are painted, I glue them together. 